always talk about seeing the view of planet Earth and how beautiful it is and being able to go to the cupola and look at that amazing view of planet Earth. But what people don't mention that much is just when you look the opposite direction and you see how dark space is. I mean, it's the blackest black and you realize just how small the Earth is in that blackness. And that was a real surprise to me. The feeling of zero gravity is a bit like the first time I put on a pair of skis and tried to go skiing. It does take a while to become proficient and it also takes a while to get orientated, but it's amazing how quickly your, your brain really adapts to that. I've been amazed at how quickly the body has adapted. You do feel disorientated and dizzy, but on my second morning I woke up feeling fresh, ready to go to work and have had no problems since. The view of planet Earth is just spectacular. Day, night, auroras, uh, thunderstorms, it's just incredible. We spend uh, almost every free moment that we have looking out the window and taking photographs. Uh, we're kept very busy during the day, of course, but in the evenings we get some free time. But our daily routine is really working from about seven in the morning till seven at night, and it's mainly scientific activities here on board uh, the space station. There are a couple of things that have really struck me. First is just how thin our atmosphere is. And I kind of knew that from seeing photographs of other astronauts, but to actually see it yourself, and especially at sunrise and at sunset. Um, and of course, we orbit the Earth 16 times a day, so we get plenty of sunrises and sunsets. And you can see that tiny, tiny band of which our atmosphere is contained in and how fragile our atmosphere is. Um, that was really quite incredible to see with my own eyes. I was very fortunate to do a spacewalk about uh, three weeks ago with my crewmate Tim Copra from NASA and we had to go and repair an electrical component right at the very edge of the space station, the furthest part of the space station and that was absolutely incredible. We, we had to repair it during the eclipse because the power from the, uh, from the sun obviously coming through the solar panels, we had to make sure we were in the shadow before we could repair that component. Um, and we got an opportunity to wait for the sun to go down and to take some photographs and enjoy the view of planet Earth. I was just very happy, very comfortable outside and, and it also it felt quite peaceful, it, it felt quite calm working out there. It was really the most incredible experience of my life being outside the space station in a spacesuit. We will be doing about 250 experiments during this six month stay in space. Um, to give you an example, a couple of weeks ago, Tim Copra, my NASA counterpart and myself, we were in the airlock and we were using the airlock as a hyperbaric chamber, taking it to a reduced pressure so that we could investigate the lungs and uh, nitric oxide as an indicator of airway inflammation. And this is gonna have benefit for people who suffer from asthma, for example, on Earth. Last week we were looking at combustion techniques and actually uh, lighting fires on board the space station, which sounds a bit remarkable, but all in a very controlled environment. But the serious side of that is to try and find better combustion techniques for back on Earth, again for cleaner engines and more efficient um, engine systems. All of these research experiments we do have knock-on impacts and benefits for people back on Earth, as well as helping us to progress further in our exploration of the solar system. I've been trying to share this mission as much as possible with everybody back on Earth. I think it's our responsibility as astronauts to do that. I just wish that I could bring everybody up on board here to, to look at planet Earth and to see it through our eyes. Uh, it's just a, the most beautiful place uh, I can imagine and it really brings it home how we need to look after each other and how we need to look after our planet.